Welcome to an episode of Things My 7-Year-Old Twins Say That No Longer Surprise Me. As you may recall from their criminal history, they were caught for forgery on their kindergarten assignments when they switched identities at the age of 5, embezzling funds when they ordered themselves 8 pairs of shoes on Amazon at the age of 6, and now they've taken on a new title at the age of 7. Just for some background here, my twin's birthday is over the summer when a lot of their friends are out of town. So I tell them we will celebrate your half birthday, but let me get through the holidays and I'll start arranging it. And then I get an email from one of their classmates' mothers. It reads, hi Shumi, I hope you're well. I'm so-and-so's mom. He brought a note home from Gia last week about her birthday party, but it doesn't have a date or time on it. Is it this coming weekend? I asked him and he wasn't sure. We're heading to Washington on Sunday. And if I end up missing you, have a wonderful celebration. I let the mom know that there is no date for the party yet and that Gia and her sister Uma clearly couldn't wait for me to get my act together and took matters into their own hands. And then she responds, Oh my gosh, that is too funny. Evidently, Gia went around to all the tables in the class and asked who would like to come to her party and then gave one of these notes to everyone who wanted to come. I love her enthusiasm. So when they get home, I let them know that I'm aware that they've been passing out these flyers for their proposed birthday party. And then they do that bizarre twin communication where they don't say a word, but they understand what the other one is trying to say, where one goes, and then the other one responds, so not only do they forge signatures, make unauthorized purchases, they're also fire festival-like fraudulent party promoters. Thank you.